Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. If anyone respects the Lord, the Lord will show that person the right way to live. People like that will have a good life. The land will belong to their descendants. The Lord is a guide for those who serve Him. He teaches them to obey His covenant. I always look up to the Lord for help. He will keep me safe from my enemies so that their traps do not catch me. Please turn towards me, Lord, and be kind to me. I feel very weak and lonely. I worry a lot about my troubles. Please take me away from them to a safe place. Look at all my trouble and my pain. Forgive me for all my sins. Look at all my enemies. There are so many of them. They hate me very much and they want to hurt me. Keep my life safe and take care of me. I have come to you to keep me safe, so do not let me be ashamed. I trust you to save me. Please take care of me because I am honest and good. God save Israel's people from all their troubles. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. I want to make God happy. Lord, I always try to do what is right. I continue to trust you all the time. So please show that I am not guilty of wrong things. Test me, Lord, and see how I have lived. Look into my mind and see my thoughts. 
I always know that I can't trust you because of your faithful love. So I want to live to make you happy. I do not become a friend of people who tell lies. I do not join together with hypocrites. I keep away from any crowd of evil people. I do not become a friend of wicked people. I wash my hands as a sign that I have done nothing wrong. Then I can worship you at your altar, Lord. The Bible, Matthew 16, part 21 to 28, Jesus predicts his death. From that time, Jesus began telling his followers that he must go to Jerusalem. He explained that the older Jewish leaders, the leading priests, and the teachers of the law would make him suffer many things. And he told his followers that he must be killed. Then, on the third day, he would be raised from death. Peter took Jesus away from the other followers to talk to him alone. He began to criticize him. He said, God save you from those sufferings, Lord, that will never happen to you. Then Jesus said to Peter, Get away from me. You are not helping me. You don't care about the same things God does. You care only about things the people think are important. Then Jesus said to his followers, If any of you want to be my follower, you must stop thinking about yourself and what you want. You must be willing to carry the cross that is given to you for following me. Any of you who try to save the life you have, you have will lose it. But you who give up your life for me will find true life. It is, it is worth nothing for you to have the whole world if you yourself are lost. You could never pay enough to pay back your life. The Son of Man will come again with his Father's glory and with his angels, and he will reward anyone for what they have done. Believe me when I say that there are some people standing here who will see the Son of Man coming with his kingdom before he, they die. This is the word of Jesus. Thank be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistel Romans 7, part 14 to 25. The way inside us. We know that the law is spiritual. But I am not. I am so human. Sin rules me as if I were its slave. I don't understand why I act the way I do. I don't do the good I want to do, and I do the evil I hate, and I and if I don't want to do what I do, that means I agree that the law is good, but I am not really the one doing the evil. It is sin living in me that does it. Yes, I know that nothing good lives in me. I mean nothing good lives in the part of me that is not spiritual. I want to do what is good, but I don't do it. I don't do the good that is that I want to do. I do the evil that I don't want to do. So if I do what I don't want to do, then I am not really the one doing it. It is the sin living in me that does it. So I have learned this rule. When I want to do good, evil is there with me. 
in my mind, in my happy with God's law, but I see another law working in my body. That law makes war against the law that my mind accepts. That another law working in my body is the law of sin, and that law makes me its spewners. That is miserable person I am. Who will save me from this body that brings me death? I thank God for his salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. So in my mind I am a slave of God's law, but I am sinful safe. I am a slave to the law of sin. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Gospel John 12, part 12 to 19. Jesus enters Jerusalem like a king. The next day the people in Jerusalem heard that Jesus was coming there. These were the crowds of people who had come to the Passover festival. They took branches of palms, trees, and went out to meet Jesus. They shouted, Praise Him! Welcome! God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the King of Israel. Jesus found a donkey and rode on it, as the scriptures say, Do not be afraid, people of Zion. Look, your king is coming. He is riding on a young donkey. The followers of Jesus did not understand at that time what, what was happening, but after he was raised to glory, they understood that this was written about him. Then they remembered that they had done these things for him. There were many people with Jesus when he raised Lazarus from death and told him to come out of the tomb. Now they were telling others about that, uh, what Jesus did. That's why so many people went out to meet him because they had heard about these miraculous signs that he did. So the Pharisees said to each other, Look, our plan is not working. The people are following him. Glory be to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I can sing loud to thank you. I can tell people about all the great things that you have done. Lord, I love the temple that is your house. It is the place where we clearly see your glory. Do not take away my life as you do with sinners. Do not punish me with death as you do with murderers. Those people are always ready to do evil things. They use bribes to get what they want. But I always try to do what is right. Please save me and be kind to me. Now I stand in a safe place. I will praise the Lord when his people meet together to worship him. Preaching End your day with prayer Do not go to bed without saying these prayers. Hear my prayer, Heavenly Father. I thank you for carrying me through this day. Thank you for leaving me, for giving me the strength to get through all of the anguish and tears. My day was full of trails and struggles, Lord. 
I feel short of focusing on you to get me through. I pray tomorrow I remember that you are always steadfast. I know tomorrow will bring it own challenges and I have an anxiety about what I will do, but you have got this. Tomorrow is yours. Help me to relax my mind tonight knowing that. Fill me with your peace tonight so I can rest my soul. Help me to sleep soundly knowing that tomorrow is yours, not mine. And you will take care of me. Without you, I, I am nothing. With you, I am all you need me to be. I pray you will bring to me dreams of your love, hope, and peace so I can have a restful night. Be always present in my dreams so I can feel safe. Bring to me a new spirit, new energy, and wellness. Protect me from evil thoughts that might interrupt my peaceful sleep. Please forgive me, Father, for my sins today. Wrap me tonight in your strong, caring, heavenly arms. Let your Holy Spirit speak to me tonight. Let your Spirit refresh me for a new day. I pray, Father, that I awake tomorrow with a fresh new outlook of my life. Jolt me with your spirit. Strength me for my new challenges. Give me your strength to survive tomorrow's challenges. And if need be, help me to rest assured that if I need carrying, you will be there every step of, of the way. I pray tomorrow will be fully blessed tonight. Good night, Father. I love you. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I trust God to keep me safe. The Lord is my light and he makes me safe. So I am not afraid of anyone. The Lord takes care of my life. Nobody can make me afraid. Evil men are ready to attack me. They want to destroy my body. But when my enemies come against me, they trip and fall to the ground. Even if a whole army comes to fight against me, I will not be afraid. Even if they attack me in war, I will continue to trust God. Hallelujah! There is one thing that I have asked the Lord to do for me. This is the one thing that I really want. I want to live in the Lord's house all the days of my life 
then I will clearly see the Lord's beauty. I will pray to him in his temple. When danger is near, the Lord will keep me safe. He will take care of me in his home. He will put me in a safe place on the top of a high rock. My enemies may be all around me, but I will win against them. They will see how strong I am. I will offer sacrifices to the Lord in his temple. I will be so happy that I will shout aloud. Yes, I will sing to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Prayers of Intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of uh, non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise holy father heavenly king almighty and eternal god through jesus christ your son our lord for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him 
to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Accept our praises, Heavenly Father Through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ and as we follow his example and obey his command grant that by the power of your holy spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in membranes of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord Amen Christ is risen Christ will come again Amen accept through him our great high Lord these are sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen if you are many break the bread and share with each other though we are many we are one body because we all share in one bread
son of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclear, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crum the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, hear me when I call to you for help. Be kind to me and answer me. I have heard you say to me, come near to me, so I will come and pray to you, Lord. Please do not turn away from me. I want to serve you, so do not be angry with me. You have always helped me in the past. You are the one who saves me God so do not turn away from me even if my father and my mother leave me the Lord would still take care of me hallelujah amen Lord please teach me to follow your way lead me along a good safe path because my enemies are waiting to attack me do not give me to my enemies. They say false things against me so that they can destroy me. But I surely believe that I will see how good the Lord is. I will know his love while I still live in this world. Wait for the Lord to help you. Be strong and brave. Yes, wait for the Lord to help you. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.